Hey, what's up everyone? F minus Mike here. How y'all doing? Well, I hope y'all are doing great because apparently the new All-Star Tower Defense update is actually going to be coming out real soon next week. And that's according to the little Kirby over here, Fruit Jaeger, on January 6th. The big update should be next week while there should have been a small update this week. Now the small update actually didn't happen, but you know what? That's okay. So I hope y'all are prepared for that. Now unfortunately, right now, there are no new gem codes for the game. But I did list all the working codes that you can type in if you haven't done so already. I put them in the description down below. But you know what? Actually, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the absolute best way to get EXP in the game by using only free units that don't cost you any gems. Now we all want EXP, especially since that new update is going to be coming soon. So there's going to be a lot of new characters in the game and who knows, you know, some of them might actually be really OP and you want to level them up really fast. So first off, if you take a look at my loadout down below, we're only bringing units from Trial 1, Trial 2, and Trial 3. We have Yoshikage Kira, Doflamingo, and Whis from Dragon Ball Z. Now the reason why we're doing this is because of how easy it is to get them, and you also don't have to spend any gems to get these characters. Everybody can do this method. It's stress-free and it doesn't require a whole lot of strategy. All right, guys, so we actually just loaded into the map and I wanna tell you guys that the map that you wanna try to get is either Dress Rosa, where Doflamingo is, the Demon Slayer Snow map, the Ninja map, or the Fairy Tail map. If you try to do this in the One Piece Marina map, it won't work so well. So definitely try to get those maps. So starting with step number one, you wanna place Kira down on that path leading to your base. And if possible, you also want to upgrade him to level 1 so he can help take care of those enemies trying to get to your base. So along with step number 1, you want to try to place the rest of the Kiras throughout the map and spread them evenly and set them to strongest. Now the reason why we want to do that is because we're going to set this up for detonate spamming later in the game. And step number 2, you want to place Whist down as soon as possible. Placing Whist down at the very early game will allow you to get $100 cash per wave and will help you place Flamingo in the later waves of the game. Along with that, Whist is especially useful in those early waves where you might not have enough money to max out Kira to kill the enemies. You might not use them a lot in infinite mode, but for farming EXP, Whist has your back to heal the base every minute of the game. And moving on to step number three, Place Flamingo down as soon as you can and have enough money. On wave 13, the arrows are going to come out, but they won't reach the back of the map until about wave 15 or wave 16. So you do have a lot of time to place Flamingo. Now for his placements, it really doesn't matter, but you want to try to put him um, where he can maximize his DPS. So at least for the Dress Rosa map, that would be in this location right here near the back of the map. Adding on to that, Flamingo can also help defeat any enemies that happen to get past Kira if you haven't upgraded him yet. If you still haven't gotten the chance to beat Trial 3, I do host several live streams throughout the week to carry Trial 3. So subscribe so you get that notification of when I'm online. I also have a neat little Trial 3 speedrun video that I made so definitely check that out in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And step number four, you want to max that last Kira that you placed near your base. The reason why you want to do that is like I said before, we're going to be setting it up for detonate spamming and I'll teach you exactly how to do that. Now along with step number four, upgrade your Kiras to level one if you can so they can also take care of those powerful enemies that will be spawning in just like that. All right, everyone. And step number five, you want to start detonate spamming. Now to detonate spam, all you have to do is click on that max cure that you upgraded and click detonate bomb. And what detonate bomb does is it has a cooldown of 10 seconds, but it deals 4x of Kira's base damage to enemies that he's touched. So I'll give you an example of just how deadly detonate bomb can do. And we're going to be pressing it in three, two, one, and watch all these enemies disappear just like that now to keep detonate spamming you actually don't have to click on kira again to refresh that little window in the bottom left hand corner of the screen 
even though the button might appear red, you can still click on it after 10 seconds to use his bomb and it will work. That means you can run across the map to check on how the other Kiras are doing in the front and detonate spam at the same time, despite the Max Kira being all the way in the back. And really quick, this is what I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna click it even though it's red and look at that. A lot of monsters just disappeared. And moving on to the final step, step number six. You wanna place the rest of your flamingos down in the same location that you put them earlier. Now, the flamingo is actually pretty expensive, but if you did put down that whisk at the beginning of the game, you don't have to worry. You'll have enough to max at least a couple of them. All right, so yes, for the rest of the game, all you're gonna wanna do is continue to detonate spam with Kira's ability. It's really good for getting cash so you can place Flamingo and upgrade him. But on top of that, like I said before, it only has a 10 second cooldown. So it's really effective at taking down enemies. So, so far, everything has been going well. Kira's detonate spam, at least for level 80, does about 1,200 damage. And if you look at the mob HP, he should be able to one-shot them until about wave maybe 30. All right, guys. So I actually believe that we're going to be approaching the end of the game right now. I did manage to put as many flamingos as I can. Not all of them are maxed. But all I'm doing right now is just continuing to detonate spam as much as I can before they reach the end of the base. Hopefully we can make it to wave 40 so we can get those four exp units and Pretty much to demonstrate and show you guys that it is possible to get to wave 40 and also to farm exp units effectively Only using free units and there it is. Yes, I'm actually happy about that guys I guess it's only been like 30 minutes now, but we did manage to make wave 40 using just the detonate spam, uh, do flamingo and whisk. Now, if you take a look at the upper right hand corner of the screen, we did manage to get 1.7 million damage this game, which honestly for free, using free units, I would say that's pretty good. And there it is, everyone. We managed to reach wave 40 using only free units from the trials. This didn't cost us a single gem to do, and for every 10 waves of infinite mode that game, we got one EXP unit. Now sometimes you can actually get lucky and get an EXP 2 unit at 10% chance, which is twice as better as the EXP 1 unit for leveling. Alright guys, so really quick, I don't know if you remember, but we did get 1.7 million damage that game. And I would say that's pretty good for only using trial units that are free to get. Anybody can get it and it's really easy. But for reference, if you guys haven't seen it already, I do have a video of me claiming over 4 billion damage worth of gems. And I'm going to link that in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So check that one out. But if you really wanted to know the conversion rate for newbies who just started the game, for every 50,000 damage they do for the damage task, they'll get 15 gems for free. And since we had 1.7 million damage, that game, if we just started playing the game, uh, we would get... 510 gems for free now the reason why i'm saying that newer players can also do the same thing that i did is because all the units that i use from trial are really easy to get everybody can get them within at least maybe one week of starting the game even do flamingo you know if you happen to get a good party so definitely try this out you can get a lot of gems for doing this method so taking a quick look at my inventory, you can see all the EXP3 units that I got from just doing this method. This is pretty much what I do. I only take Kira, do Flamingo, and Whis with me to do infinite mode. And every about 30 minutes, I get 4 EXP units. And so you can see how many EXP3 units I have. I've been doing this for quite a while. It only takes about 1 hour to get 8 EXP units. So definitely try this out yourself. And for those of you that don't actually know, it takes 16 EXP3 units to get to level 80. So we're going to be trying that right now with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So it does take 16 EXP3 units to get a character to level 80. Every EXP3 unit is made up of 6 EXP1 units. So that basically means it's going to take you around 12 to maybe 14 hours to get a character up to level 80. And that wraps up the video everyone. Thank you all for coming to watch it. If you're a new viewer, subscribe to the channel and like the video if this has helped you or if you enjoyed it. And until next time guys, I'll see you in the next video.